Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Rius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. It's been a while since I saw Takia Shahime and Kujira in ranked, so I thought I should make one. This is not exactly a full-fledged field deck. The field we use in this build is just going to help us gain advantage over the opponent. So let's jump into the deck rundown, shall we? The way you play this deck is to use Dragon Jewel and the Holy King to prevent your opponent from building a strong board. Then use Takiyasa Hime and Kujira to beat them up. It's a simple yet effective strategy. So first up we have Takiyasa Hime. She will be our main blocker, believe it or not, because of her damage immunity field. For her, I'm bringing two Castle of the Sun. Since most of the damage dealt in games are usually attack damage, we're definitely bringing two of this. Then we have to Shadowless Sun. Ideally, you want to use this when you can direct attack because the increased intensity will help you in the long run. Then we have to Evolve. We're not going to use this as frequent, but it will definitely help us to defeat the opponent Shikigami. Then we have one Moon Secret. Since field deck are still common in ranked, this will help you destroy their field with the highest intensity. Then we have one Endless Perdition. This one is just a flex option and the form looks really pretty. If you don't have this, you can definitely bring other cards. Then we have Kujira. He will be our main attacker because he has high health and pretty decent attack. For him, I'm bringing two Protection of Suzuka Mountain. This will make your Shikigami a bit more tanky if they take damage and survive. Also, Kujira attack will increase if he has shields. Then we have two Scale Protection. This form has a good base stats and the free shield every turn will help Kujira a lot when he's attacking. Then we have two Whaleborn Open. This is actually a really easy to use because of how easily you can stack Takia Shahime's field. And Kaguya has high intensity field that stays on for a long time. And that in turn make this card bonus stats even bigger. Then we have one Area Protection. If scale protection wasn't enough for you and you want to protect all of your Shikigami, this is definitely the card that you want to bring. Then we have one Evolve just to boost his stats even more. Next Shikigami. Shikigami is the usual field support Kaguya. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what she does and all I have to say is just to use 5 puzzle to grab dragon jewel then activate it. After that it doesn't matter if she dies or live because dragon jewel will do most of the work. And lastly we have Taishak 10. He's our only utility option but he works very effectively. Just put the holy king on him and watch him knock out their Shigami one by one. Then activate ideal nation to further cripple your opponent damage and we're also bringing 2 bestowal because we need some draw power. And that's about it for the deck rundown. This deck is really simple to play and just requires a bit of thinking to win. So let's move on with the replays. Our first match is up against Yumekui Hana deck. That deck will take a while to set up, so if we can keep them from building up their fields, we should win pretty easily. We get the first turn this time. We should always try to get the Holy King on our starting hand because that will help us a lot to stop the opponent from doing funny business. On our turn, we activate 5 puzzle to get Dragon Jewel. And since we don't want to attack with Takia Sahime just yet, we use Kaguya to attack and pass. On their turn, they will put a form on Hana, then use Susabi to attack and pass. They're starting to build up their fields. Uh, we need to hurry up with our set. We activate protection of Suzuka Mountain. Then use Kujira to attack and pass. At the end phase, Taisha Kutan will kill Susabi. On their turn, they will activate Dragon Jewel, then use Kaguya to attack and pass. That Dragon Jewel is bad for us. Thankfully, we have the solution for them. On our turn, we activate our own Dragon Jewel, then put Kujira forward as a blocker and pass. With both Dragon Jewel active, it's a race on who is going to get wiped first. On their turn, they will attack with Yumekui, killing our Kujira. But at the end phase, he will also die by our Dragon Jewel.
on our turn. Since they don't have any blocker, we can do this. We evolve Takiyasa Hime, Taisha Katan will attach Lotus to Hana, then we activate Moon Secrets to destroy their Dragon Jewel because it has the highest intensity, and then we pass. At the end turn, at the end phase, Hana will also die. And with that simple move, we just shut down their whole board setup. Then put Susabi level 2 form on him and use it to kill our Takiyasa Hime. But that will leave him with 2 health left, and at the end phase, he will get hit by the Dragon Jewel and die. On our turn, we activate with ideal nations then use Taishakten to attack. On their turn, only Kaguya will revive so we don't have to worry about Taishakten dying. On their turn, they activate 5 puzzle, then activate Buddha Stone and pass, summoning the bowl at the end phase. On our turn, we put scale protection on Kujira, then use him to kill the bowl and pass. <laughs> on their turn, they activate two eternal slumber and pass. Summoning another bowl at the end phase. On our turn, we activate Whalebone Open to destroy the bowl, then activate another one to deal 9 damage. And at the end phase, we deal another 2 damage from the Dragon Jewel. At this point, I would have just surrendered because there's no way you can come back from this. But they didn't. They put Takitori Monogatari on Kaguya and pass. Well, time to end this. We evolve Taishak 10, then put Lotus on Kaguya. After that, we use Kujira to destroy the bowl, and at the end phase, Dragon Jewel will kill them, and we win the game. Our second match is up against a Spell Slinger deck. This is actually pretty bad for us because they can very easily destroy our field, so we have to play a bit smart on this match. Once again, we get the first turn. We will put the Holy King on Taisha Keten and pass. Killing their Onigiri early on will help us a lot. On their turn, they will also put the Holy King on their Taisha Keten, then put Onigiri forward and pass. On our turn, we activate Protection of Suzuka Mountain, then use Takiyasha Hime to attack and kill their Onigiri. After that, we activate Bestowal on their Taishak Ten and Path. On their turn, they will activate Fox Fire to kill our Takiyasha Hime, then use Taishak Ten to deal 2 damage to us and pass. Okay, this is starting to look bad for us. We're just going to attack with Kaguya and pass. On their turn, they will put Prayer on Tamamo, then activate Blazing Snow. Thankfully, that did not trigger their form skill, but we just lost to Shikigami. On our turn, we activate 10 good deeds to kill their Tamamo, then attack directly with Taishak 10 because we don't want Onigiri to get a free attack. At the end phase, their Taishak 10 will die. On their turn, they will attack with Itsumade because they don't want Onigiri to die, I guess, and they will pass. On our turn, we activate Moon Secrets so that our Takia Shahime doesn't take damage. That will trigger Itsumade's card, burning all of her cards and drawing equal to the amount burned. Then we activate Shadowless Sun to get the attack immunity field. After that, we activate our last bestowal on Onigiri and pass. On their turn, they will just pass because they know attacking would be useless. On our turn, we put Scale Protection on Kujira, then use him to deal 5 damage and pass. Why? 
On their turn, they will put Holy Child, then activate Ideal Nation, and pass. That Ideal Nation will bite us in the ass later. On our turn, Taisha Ten will attach Lotus to Tamamo, which is the perfect target. We then evolve Kujira, then activate Castle of the Sun. But this is where I made a huge misplay. I activated the Whalebone Open Combat card, only to realize that the Lotus was on Kujira. We were supposed to deal 14 damage in that one hit, but failed miserably, so we pass. On their turn, they will perform on Itsumade, then use her to attack our Kujira and pass. On our turn, we activate 5 Puzzle to grab our Dragon Jewel, then activate it and pass. This should hold them back for now. On their turn, they put Ringing Blade on Onigiri, activate Flickering Shadow, and finish it off with 10 good deeds to kill our Taishak Ten and Kujira. On our turn, I made another misplay. I should have just attacked and passed, but I tried to evolve Kaguya, so Onigiri will kill her. But I will still attack, and at the end phase, Onigiri will get killed by the Dragon Jewel. On their turn, they will activate Golden Feather, that will kill our Takiyasha Hime. Then use Itsumade to deal another 4 damage, after that they put another Holy Child on Taishakuten. I think that was a bit too early, but alright. On our turn, we're just going to pass because we can't do anything, but the Dragon Jewel will kill Itsumade. On their turn, they put another Prayer on Tamamo, then change Holy Child to Holy King for some reason. But that will trigger Tamamo's form, destroying Takiyasha Hime's field, and deal 7 damage. On our turn, we activate our own ideal nation, then activate Whalebone Open, we deal 10 damage to their life. That will trigger Taishak Ten's skill, attaching Lotus to their Taishak Ten, and we pass. On their turn, they put another Ringing Blade on Onigiri, then use him to attack our Kujira and pass. On our turn, I actually forgot we already evolved Kaguya, so this is another misplay. I should have just activated the Buddha Stone, but we will put Kujira forward and pass. At the start of their turn, Tamamo still triggers, killing our Kujira. They activate Onigiri's combat card. Then flickering shadow and finally evolving. That was the whole Onigiri package, wasn't it? Well, thankfully we just do our solution. We activate ten good deeds on Onigiri. Of course, he will respond by killing our Taishakuten. Here we could have just finished it with Takiyasha Hime, but I wanted them to suffer the Dragon Jewel at the end phase. And with that. We win the game. Well, that's all for today's video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, I have Patreon and cool file links down below. And as usual, if you have any kind of feedback, leave it down in the comments and see you next video. Bye.